afresh with fresh fire that I become untouchable in the name of Jesus. Every attack against my prayer altar, every evil arrow backfire in the name of Jesus. you do not define who you are you are only who God says you are if you believe in him I release myself from the bondage of prayerlessness in the name of Jesus Welcome again to Moment of Change. This is your host, Pastor D.M. Today, I am excited, as always, to be able to come share with you God's word through this medium. And I want to thank you so very much for allowing us to come into your living rooms or wherever you are watching us today, all around this great country. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. But one more than I request of you, please, can you help me and call somebody now and tell them that moment of change is on the air. And let them tune in and God is going to bless them through you today. Today I have something that the Lord has in my heart I want to share with you. And we're going to read it from the word of the Lord in Genesis chapter 26 we're reading from verse 18 18 says and Isaac digged again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father for the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them and Isaac's servants dig in the valley and found there a well springing of water. Praise the Lord. Today I want to speak to us on what I titled Well Diggers and Well Stoppers. Well Diggers and Well Stoppers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. For your word is about to come. Let your word come alive. Minister to every hearer tonight. That your name be glorified, we ask. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. Here in where we just read, the word of God makes us to understand that Abraham, the father of faith, dog wells in his lifetime and we all know the importance of wells and when it comes to water of course universally there is no way we can do without water before the advent before there was the invention of uh, boreholes or pipe bond waters or other sources of having water the primary way we get water in the olden times especially was through the digging of wells and of course a man's wealth part of his wealth is how many wells he has that he has been able to dig and through these wells he's able to take care of his family his his farm the animals will drink from it they could wash they could do everything you can think of doing with water that's what wells stand stands for and it's so important for you to understand 
that for you to actually get wells, you have to dig very deep. And many times, some areas you dig these wells, you cannot really get just dig and just get the water. And even if you just dig, for you to get very good water to drink, you have to dig really deep. Some of you know what I'm talking about. And so, the Word of God makes us to understand that our father of faith, Abraham, dug several wells. Remember, Abraham was a very wealthy man. Abraham was rich in cattle, rich with servants. Abraham was such a wealthy man and a blessed man. And part of what made Abraham rich and blessed was the wells that he dug. We read there in verse 18. The Bible talks about after the death of Abraham, the enemy, the enemy, enemies of Abraham, those who are just about Abraham, called the Philistines. The Bible says they went and closed up all the wells. They used mud and filled back the wells. The wells that bring forth water. The wells that bring forth life. Because of hatred, because of an evil heart, people went and took mud to cover those wells. And that's what today we are saying, we are asking a question. As you watch this telecast, are you a well digger or are you a well stopper? A well stopper is someone that covers wells. A well stopper is someone that covers already existing wells. Here, the enemy, the Philistines, represents well stoppers. And Abraham represents a well digger. A well digger is someone that is creative. A well digger is someone that knows about life, that wants life to go forward. A well digger is someone that's about economic development, about growth. He thinks about well-being, not all for himself, but for other people. A well digger is someone who thinks the way God thinks. A well digger is a pathfinder. A well digger is someone who is very, very creative and innovative. But a well stopper is a destroyer. A well stopper is someone that is not interested in the good of others. The Philistines, the enemies of Abraham, they stopped the well that, that he dug. We hear this, the Bible says in verse, chapter verse 18, And Isaac dig again the wells of his father. Today, God has given you some things to do and the wells have been stopped. The wells have been covered. The wells of joy, the wells of peace, the things that have been laid down have been closed up. But Isaac as a child of God, Isaac as a child of his father, understood the importance of digging the same wells. What does that tell you? Isaac did not dig fresh wells. He dug back the same wells. Beloved, the Word of God has given us principles. The Word of God is like wells that have been created, that have been established for the glory of God. But the enemy has tried many, many times to do things that will cover these wells. But every child of God is like Isaac, who is interested in digging back those wells, in bringing about restoration. Isaac was a child of restoration, restoring that which has been destroyed. Beloved, God said also to let you know that you don't need to be a part of the problem, you ought to be a part of the solution. You are not meant to be a part of darkness, you are meant to be a part of light. No matter what the enemy has done, you have the mandate of heaven by the grace of God to restore back that which has been destroyed. Praise the Lord. And Isaac stood up. The Philistines, they stood as opposition. In spite of all the opposition, Isaac dug again the same wells. Has it occurred to you that when you are about to bring about restoration, you don't do anything new, you go back there and restore it back. There are many parts of the word of God. There are truths in the word of God that the enemy has stopped, has closed the wells of righteousness, the wells of peace. We have to dig back those wells again. Those wells have to be redone again because it's now in our hands to build them back. 
beloved the Bible says Isaac dug back the same wells that the Philistines have closed up and it is important for you to note that when you are doing a work of restoration it's not easy but hear me and hear me well whatever God has called you to do I know you can do it there are some of you right now in your family in your home in your marriage things are not going the way they ought to go be of good courage be of good courage God said to tell you be of good courage that good work you are doing in bringing back a restoration bring it back again don't sit back and allow the enemy have his way God has raised you up for such a time as this you're a well digger go back and keep digging those wells go back and bring restoration of that which God has put in your life to do I am here to let you know that the Lord who has called you like Isaac has called you to understand what has gone back to bring them back I will be right back after this time please don't go ahead. D Barry Music Records now opens D Barry Music Studio. Me, I go the praise, my Jesus, forever. Oh yes, are you looking for a studio to bring out the best in your music? Do you want a studio with good equipment or do you want to shoot a music video with quality cameras? Search no more. D Barry Music Studio is the right place. Our services include digital and analog recording, instrumentals, voicing, mixing and mastering, rehearsals. We teach you how to learn production and engineering, learn musical instruments, CD duplication, music video shoot, advance and marketing, post-production and Lots more. Rush now and contact us at number 71 Brown Street, Oshudi, Lagos, Nigeria. For more inquiries, call 0706-308-3244-0803-306-3602-0907-909-9511. Email dmrecords2020 at gmail.com. D Barry Music Records, enriching the spirit and soul with sacred music. Rush now today. Torchlight Mission and Leadership School in affiliation with Cornerstone Christian University, Orlando, Florida, USA, offers admission for part-time, full-time, and online distance programs with certificate in diploma, BSc programs, masters, and doctorates. Are you seeking for admission with qualified lecturers, good learning environment, with godly principles, desirous to bring out that academic prowess in you? Then, search no more. Torchlight Mission and Leadership School in affiliation with Cornerstone Christian University is the right choice. We offer courses like early child education, community development, divinity studies, ministry, missiology, Christian business administration and management, Christian non-profit management, theology, music, Christian mission and evangelism, and lots more. Rush now as admission is on at our Lagos campus, 71 Brown Street, Oshodi, Lagos, Nigeria, Port Harcourt campus, Emelisi Plaza, Ogoguru, St. John's Road, opposite Liquid Bog Petro Station, Room and Lumini, Port Harcourt River State. Inquiries 0907-909-9511-0706-308-3244-0810-532-6440. Email info at touchlifemissionschool.org or touchlifeschool at gmail.com. Website www.touchlifemissionschools.org. Touch Life Mission and Leadership School, the school of the spirit and excellence. Hi, I'm First Lady Petra Shaw from Kingdom Mission Church of God, Seventh Day in Apopka, Florida. And this is my wonderful husband, Pastor Glenville Shaw. And you are watching Moments of Change with Dr. D. M. Tickley. Stay tuned and God bless. Welcome back. Before we went on that break, we are still looking at well diggers and well stoppers. We read in our text in Genesis 26 and verse 18. Hear what the word of God says again. He says, Isaac dug the same wells that his father had dug. So, and the Bible also said that Isaac not only dug the same wells, 
But the next part of it says, and Isaac called them by the same names. He dug the same wells, gave them the same names. Now it is time for you to know work of restoration is bringing back that which has been destroyed. And there are many of us right now who are going with the, with the new wave of things, with new direction, with emotional messages that hype us up. We are going by new age messages, teaching strange things. No, we don't need to teach anything strange. The word of God forever is settled. All we need to do is to bring back the truth of the word of God that has been destroyed and distorted. This word of God, thank God for his word, is still true today. It is time to begin to dig the wells that our fathers of faith have dug for us. Our fathers of faith have dug several wells of truth, of righteousness. The apostles, the Bible says in Ephesians 2.20, built upon the foundation of the prophets and, 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 and apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ, the chief on the stone. It has been already laid down. Our forefathers of faith have laid the foundation for us. They have dug several wells. The Bible says that was the history of the time when apostasy entered the church. The dark ages, when the word of God was destroyed. Paganism has invaded the church right now. There are so many things going on in the name of the Lord that is not of God at all. There are many places where God is being called upon. God is not there. There are many, many practices that are being carried out today that are not of God. There are many hedonistic, paganist practices that are going on that God has noticed it. It is time for every child of God to rise up and to dig back the wells that our forefathers have done for us. It's time for every believer to stand upright, to stand in the word of God and restore back holiness, righteousness. It's time to build back the, the wells of deep sincerity. There is no more sincerity in our world today. So many times it is even very doubtful where you go for, for prayers. It is doubtful how you read the people. When you do business, when people say they are Christians, it is very, very doubtful because of the things that are happening. Men's conscience are no more there. People have lost the sense of sincerity. Hey, it is time for us to go back and begin to dig the wealth of sincerity. Deep sincerity. When you, you are so sincere that God is in your life. It's time for us to go back and begin to dig the, into the deep sincerity of humility. There's so much pride and arrogance today in our world. The Bible says in the last days, men shall be proud of themselves. Boasters. Even those of us who, who call upon the name of the Lord? There is no sign of humility in us. Blood, it is time to dig those wells. Dig deep into the humility of Christ. Let us be an example of who Jesus is. The reason why we're here is to manifest the grace and the glory of God. That the world will know and see that we are called by the name of God. With grace. The Bible says we have this treasure at in vessel. Just to remind us that we are just nothing but living by the grace of God. There's too much of worldliness around us. Here is time to begin to go and restore those things that the Lord has called us into. And here what the Bible says, the word of God tells us. In the book of Jeremiah 6 16, it says we should go back and look for those old ways, those old paths. Hallelujah. Those old paths. What that is interesting here is that the word of God makes us understand that in the book of Isaiah, I read that Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20, God's word says something here. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter to for sweet and sweet for bitter do you hear that the bible says isaac called the names of the wells the same names it's good that we call 
whatever is the name, the name. It's good to call sin, sin. Don't talk about wisdom. The Bible says, who is the man who is calling light? Who is calling that as light? Woe unto him that call evil good. Let us call what this name their real name. When you are cheating people, you say you are smart. It's just wisdom. When you are committing evil, immorality, you say you are having a good time. When you are stealing from people with your pen and doing all sorts of manner of evil things, you say, well, I'm just being smart. You do things that are not right, you say, heaven help those who help themselves. I want to let you know that a woe is pronounced because you don't call this name. Hey, you are a servant of God. I dare you to preach the word of God the way it ought to be preached. Tell people, tell them the way it should be told. Let them know the truth. If you don't tell these people, God will hold you accountable of their sins. God will require their blood from you. You see people who are living, who are not living, tell them the way it is. That's why God has called you. You are out there today and you are saying, Pastor, what do I do? First and foremost, give your life to Jesus Christ. You don't know him. You have to tell the Lord today, I'm sorry. I want to pray for you right now. Say, say yes, say, I'm heavenly Father. I've heard your word. Forgive my sins. Bless me from all righteousness. I don't want to any longer be a well stopper. I want to be a well -stopper. Thank you for my sacrifice. In Jesus' name. And if you have been involved where wells have been shut and closed, I want to pray for you for grace. That Isaac was able to dig wells, you will dig again. Father Jesus, I pray for everyone out there who is digging up wells, who are bringing over first. Ah! Pray, receive grace and strength in Jesus' name. The God who will Isaac will help you. The God of Isaac will help you today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's all we have for us today. And I believe that this message has been the best to you. Why don't you be in touch with us? If there's anything that we can do to be of help to you, don't fail to give us a call. Right now, or right on the screen, you see so many numbers. There are counselors that are standing by to pray with you to speak with you and we have our days of fellowship right there counseling these are all there get in touch and let us know how we can be of help to you it is the will of god that you prosper and you grow and you make it to eternity thing as i come your way again same time same station don't forget that change is not by chance change is by choice god bless you